I never thought I'd be where I am today 18 months ago. 18 months ago, I was an Uber driver and doing DoorDash. And then I got a position as a level one IT support technician, and that changed today, my entire life. Today, I am a network engineer working for a major company in the aerospace industry. I make over $75,000 a year. I have great benefits, and it's a great work environment for everyone to succeed. When I first got my level one IT support role, I quickly stumbled upon the CompTIA certification series. The CompTIA certifications are an industry standard in information technology. After getting my A+, I quickly realized I wanted to go through with the whole series. And I got my Net+, plus, and I'm currently working on my Security+. Plus. The CompTIA A+, plus is your base level fundamentals of IT. It shows your employer that you know base level knowledge and can help them out right away. Once you pass the A+, plus, then you can continue your studies on to the Network+. Plus. The Network+, plus shows your employer you have the basic knowledge and skills for troubleshooting any type of network issue. Here's my uh, certification right here, actually. Then once you're into Net Plus, you can move on to the Security Plus. And the Security Plus validates your baseline skills necessary to perform security functions in IT. Once I passed the A Plus and the Net Plus, I sat down with my employer to have a discussion about getting a pay raise and uh, getting a better job title. After that, I was a level two support technician and I was making $25 an hour. As a level one tech, I was doing basic stuff like installs, PC installs, um, troubleshooting basic issues, and you know, getting information for other people. As a level two tech, I was actually able to go more hands-on with like a VMware, Cisco switches, and uh, access cameras. And the best part about all this, besides for getting a raise and getting a better job title, is the companies will pay you to pass these certification tests. They'll pay for your study materials. They'll pay for you to go to classes. I went to an access cameras class that was a very cool class. I got to learn a lot of information and meet a lot of cool people and a lot of connections I still have to this day. And I went to a Milestone class, which Milestone is an industry-leading network video recording software. After a few more months, I eventually started reaching out to more people on LinkedIn, connecting with people, and uh, putting my resume up on Indeed and uh, ZipRecruiter. To land a job like the one that I have, you're going to have to be very specific with the job you want. You have to say, I want to be a network engineer, I want to be a cloud engineer, I want to be a server admin. You have to figure out what you want and you have to go find those positions online and figure out what the qualifications you need to become um, a network engineer or a system admin or whatever you want to be. You have to find what they need. So for a network engineer, I know they want network plus, they want, they want the A plus, they want security plus, they want the CCNA. They want many uh, certifications like that. And the job description for the network engineering job was actually most of the things I've been doing at my current job as a level two support tech. So I already knew I could do everything that they wanted me to. So now I just had to impress them with the knowledge I already had. So once you have found the job you want to uh, grow into, you need to get the certifications for that path. So I got um, the Network Plus, the A Plus, and I did many different things in the networking area. So I had the skills I already developed to get a network engineering job. So once you know the things that you need to do to get the job you want, you have to go out and do those things. And then once you get the certifications, and while you're on the path to getting the certifications, start applying around, go for the interviews. There's nothing better than going to an interview and showing up with a smile on your face and a great attitude, you never know if they're gonna hire you or not just for the great attitude. Third and last interview was with three network engineers on the team currently. They were inviting me for basic troubleshooting skills and making sure that I was a good fit for the job. A few weeks after that last interview, I got a call from my now boss telling me that I, I got the job and I accepted the offer. After getting the network engineering job, I knew I needed to further my skills in networking. So I went out and got the Cisco CCNA. The Cisco CCNA is a, an associate level certification from Cisco, basically going over the Cisco solutions, the routers, switches, and access points. Now I live a stress-free day, going in between few meetings, doing some work in between days, and I get to study for different certification tests still. Now I get to work eight hours a day, Monday through Friday, and two days get to be from home, which is really nice. You get to sit back and put some PJs on and work. Always in pursuit of a higher paying job and a better job title, I am continuing my education. Currently, I am going after the Azure Fundamentals, Azure Designing, uh, Azure Infrastructure Solutions, and the Azure Network Engineer Associate. These are three cloud certifications, and the cloud is definitely where everything is going right now. After a few discussions with my boss, he loved the idea of going for the Azure certifications. Not many people in the organization currently know much about the cloud, and we are going towards Azure within the next year. 
In five years from now, I see myself being a cloud architect, working with different cloud solutions and networking and servers. When I'm done with the Azure certifications, I will be going after my Cisco Certified Network Professional, which is the CCMP. Bottom line, guys, if you go out there, you work hard every day, and you uh, get the certifications that you need, you will get whatever job you want. As long as you continue to apply for it and you work on your interviewing skills, you will find the job you want. If you guys have made it this far, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you right away. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good day.